hi what is up everyone welcome back to a new amazing video in which we will be implementing uh, five stars rating bar in jetpack compose so first of all let's have a look at on what we are going to build so this is what we are going to build this app with these uh, uh, rating bars you can have as many stars as you want you can change the color of course you can change the rating and uh, it's pretty simple and uh, straightforward so let's get started The first thing is that we want to have this dependency here which is the extended icons one because we're going to use rounded stars in this app and uh, they only exist in this extended icons library so just add this library or not if you don't want the rounded ones and then sign the project after that let's start creating the uh, stars or the rating bar the rating bar will be in a separate file so i'm just going to call it rating bar Like this and of course it is a composable fun rating bar oops I did not put a space here like this and this rating bar function will take some parameters the first one is a modifier so modifier that is equal to the default one the default modifier and the next thing is the rating that we want in our rating bar so rating uh, of course it's type of double and by default is 0, 0.0 and you can also use float it's the same and the ne next one is the stars the number of stars we want to have so stars which is an integer and by default we'll have five stars and the uh, next one is the color of the star so stars color which is of type color and by default it's going to be yellow so import that so color dot yellow is the default one or i maybe imported the wrong one yes this is the one we have we want and we're going to use yellow and the last thing is uh, the on rating change lambda so whenever we rate, we change the rating we trigger that in our activity so we update the ui to the new rating so on rating change which is a lambda of course so uh, and it takes or it takes yes of course it takes a double that is the new rating and it returns nothing so unit like this and then let's get started of course the stars are in a row as you saw in the app so we have a row of stars in here and so we're going to create a row and then a for loop so import row like this and a for loop in which we're going to loop uh, in the number of stars and then uh, add a new a new icon every time so we're going to use a for loop index in one uh, stars like this so what this means is that index in one is equal or less than stars so uh, as as long as index is uh, equal or less than stars then we're going to add an icon so let's create the icon the first thing is first let's import icon uh, the first thing is that you want to pass a content description just null uh, and then the tint which is the tint of the star so tint stars color and then uh, the modifier we could have the modifier as the first one so modifier is equal to the one that we pass dot uh, clickable because as i said whenever we change the rating then we're going to pass the new rating to our uh, ui to update to update it so right here we're going to call on rating change and then we pass index which is the the new rating dot two double like this good and the last thing is the image vector which is going to be a little complex 
but it will be straightforward once you understand it so image image vector like this so how this is going to work let's have a look on the app so we're going to uh, iterate through the number of stars we have and then we will just check if index is less or equal than the number of uh, than the rating so in here we have uh, four i mean 3.5 so we're going to check if index is less or equal than 3.5 it uh, when we get here then we'll display filled stars what once it's no longer equal or uh, less than uh, rating which is 3.5 then we will check if we have a half star and then we will display a half star and then we're going to display uh, these outline stars so if we don't have a half uh, star then like this we're just going to display outline stars for the rest so to do that we're going to write uh, if index is less as i said is less or equal than stars I mean then rating like this then in this case we're going to display the filled icon so icons dot rounded dot star which is the filled star like this and as long as this is true we're going to display the filled star but else right here this is where it gets a little tricky because we want to know if we have a half star so to do that we actually need a boolean that i'm going to right now create and explain how it works so var is half star that is equal to the remaining value from uh, dividing rating by one so we're going to if, if that is we're going to do that operation if that remaining is zero then we don't have a half star and if it is not a zero then we do have a half star to write that we're just going to write uh, rating and then we're going to take the model of uh, rating divided by one so like this and that is not a zero in this case then we do have a half star if it's if it's uh, not as if it's a zero so if this is true then we don't have a half star so else i hope uh, you understand it i know it's a little complex but it you know it makes sense if you just carefully read the code and as i said you would just check the remaining of dividing rating by one if that's zero then we don't have a half star and if it's greater than zero or if it's not zero then we do have a half star so if is half star then right here we're going to display this icon which is the star half and else so else then we just want the outlined one like this star outlined which is this one so uh but actually this this is still not complete because in this case we actually it's possible that we're going to display more than just one half star and in a rating bar we can only have one half star as you can see uh, that's why i'm going to then assign is half star to false because that's it we already displayed the half star we don't we don't want to display another one until we update the rating in case it exists uh, that time and then right now let's create our ui in which we're going to display those rating bars so our rating bars will be inside a common so let's create that a common that will take a modifier to fill the max size so modifier is equal to modifier just fill max size like this and then we're going to uh, center the uh, the content inside our modifier so horizontal alignment center horizontally and vertical arrangement arrangement uh, center vertically like this and let's first create our first rating bar we first need a state which is the rating that can change so var rating i'm just going to call it rating one by remember mutable state of or mutable double state because we have this mutable double state of 3.5 for the first one for example i need to import this and import again and import again 
three imports and then we're going to display the first rating bar so just call the function we've created rating bar this is the own value uh, on a rating change i don't have to create it this way i can just do this and then we're going to pass our parameters to it so the first thing is a modifier of the modifier of course and in which we're going to specify the the, the size of our stars so for example it's a size 50 dp so import dp and then uh, the rating which is going to be the rating we've created rating one and then the stars color so stars color and for the first one let's uh, say green for example so colors dot green and in this on uh, on rating change then we're going to uh, give the new value to our rating so rating one is equal to it like this so let's run the app and see if we have created our first rating bar yes as you can see we've given it the rating we wanted and the green color now let's create a, a new one but let's give it like different parameters this time so call it two and this one two as well and this one as well so let's suppose we're going to give it like 6.5 and then the number of stars so stars is going to be uh, 10 for example like this and then we can leave the color to the default one or give it a different color if we want As you can see, uh, because I don't have space, the last one is just a little small like this, but I can just make the stars smaller than what they are. So 40 dp, for example. And yes, uh, oops, it did not launch. Let me relaunch it. As you can see, these are my 10 stars. And of course, I can uh, change the rating, I can change the color, I can change the number. I can basically change it the way I want it to be. So yes, this is it for this video. We just saw how we can create uh, a rating bar and then we can change the rating, of course. And uh, yes, this is it. Hope you like this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this helpful. See you in the next one and bye.